for this week's discussion board. We had a couple of options on what we can do our presentation on and I decided to do mine on trifles by Susan Glassville. So I chose trifles because I felt like the story was built very quickly by the characters. I was absolutely intrigued by the story from the moment that it had started at the beginning of the play. We are given some background information that this was written in 1916 which kind of let me know that this was about the time the first wave of feminism had hit. This play showed how women typically acted around men when they were in the room versus how they acted when they was just with each other. I also liked how men were there to investigate but didn't find as much information as the women who learned about the couple's personalities and some clues about the murder by just simply being curious or naturally investigating. They weren't really looking for anything, but just being themselves and kind of walking around, they kind of put two and two together, which I thought was pretty interesting. A little bit about the author. Susan Glassbull wrote the play in 1916, of course, after something that happened in the early 1900s. She was a journalist before she began writing fiction, and this was the first play she had ever written. A little bit about the piece itself is, again, it took place in the early 1900s when women really couldn't vote and stuff like that. So it definitely was a different time in history. This particular piece was inspired by the time she was a journalist and kind of based her characters off of the investigation itself. Sometime after, Susan did resign as a journalist to pursue fiction, probably to document the times that she was living in around her in a more creative way. Kind of writing about this uh, in particular trifles was based off of a true story about the murder of John Hozak. <clears throat> what I learned about writing by analyzing this piece was from the moment that everybody started speaking, you immediately understood the story that was going on. From the police report, it lets us know as the audience right away exactly what we were going to be talking about in the play. And the lack of movement in the play allowed the dialogue to carry the story itself with the help of the characters that we met. It kept the plot moving forward. Every character had its purpose. There was less action over dialogue. The dialogue was very strong <clears throat> in a play like this. It communicates not only just the plot line of the play, but it allows the characters to have relationships with each other and see how they act. And you can kind of learn about the people by being the audience, just kind of observing the interactions shared between the characters, like the men versus women, the women with each other. It was all very different and set the tone for the play. And dialogue was definitely very important to follow along because it told you what was happening as the story progressed. And the takeaway I got from it was that we should allow dialogue to build the world for us instead of us writing, us as writers to do all of the work. I know I'm guilty of that sometimes. And after this assignment, it definitely has inspired me to try to go about the route of letting the characters tell you about their world instead of me telling you about it. The characters should do all the work for you. We should study more one act plays for sure. I think I learned a lot from watching the, the examples that were given. It's better to study for studying real life conversations to move the plot for you. And I think it's better than not better, but I think it's another strategy we could use when we're trying to write dialogue is to watch plays and see how those conversations, how every piece means something. It's a puzzle piece to keep building off of each other. And everything that happens in our writing involving dialogue should help the plot move along. I think that's the key piece here. And if we, I know as intimidating as writing dialogue is, I think if we keep it in mind that it is a, a tool to help us with our writing to make it better or more interesting, it'd be 
more engaging for us, not only to just write the piece, but for our readers and audience as well. And that is my presentation. Thank you for watching.